question and answer piping lets you put an answer from a question into a different question on a later page in your survey. Perfect for when you want to refer back to a previous answer to help someone answer another question. Before you add any piping, make sure you've finished designing the survey. If you change the order of your survey later, the piping won't update, so you'd need to set it up again. It's also good practice to make your initial piping question required. Otherwise, if someone skips that question, they'll see a blank space on the follow-up question where their answer should be. And finally, question and answer piping isn't supported when page randomization is applied, so make sure to have that turned off. Then you're ready to start adding piping to your survey. Let's say you want to ask your employees what department they work in and then push their answer into a question on a later page. To add piping, find the follow-up question and click to edit. Click the question text and then click insert text from. Click previous questions and then choose the question you want to grab the answer from. You'll see the question number within some curly brackets. You can even add your text as an answer choice in your question. Once you're happy, save and you're all done. Now when your respondents answer the initial question and click to go to the next page, they'll see their answer safely nestled in your follow-up question. Piping only works when the questions are separated by different pages, so if your question isn't there, make sure it's on a previous page. If you still can't see your question, you may be trying to get an answer from an unsupported question type. You can pipe answer text from multiple choice, drop down, comment box, single text box, slider, and the captions from image choice questions. When you analyze your results, any question with piping applied will show with some curly brackets and the question number that it's piping from. If you'd like to see how piped answers relate to the rest of someone's response, you can filter your results by question and answer. In our example, we may want to see how satisfied with professional growth people in marketing are. To do that, click filter, filter by question and answer, and then choose the initial piping question that you asked. Now choose the answer you want to filter for. The filter will only show the responses of people who answered marketing, so all answers about professional growth will be for employees in marketing. Now you're ready to get busy analyzing.